What is going on, everybody? King Reek on here today, man. Here to talk about the One Piece awesome sauce. And listen, dude, I had to make this because I couldn't stop thinking about it, man. I was just so happy with the ideas presented in the last chapter, chapter 115 by Peckham's man that I had to make a video on it. I just had to make a discussion video, even as short as it may be, as, short, as long as it may be. I just had to talk about it. I had to get out of my system, man, because I'm 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 so I'm so enticed. I love it. I love the idea of it. Because for the longest time, guys, whenever I hear someone say who is the weakest Yonko, automatically almost you almost always hear Big Mom. And and there is like no evidence behind that claim because we, we haven't seen anything. From 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 almost any of them, so you know I almost always hear that I I almost always hear the weakest Yonko is either Blackbeard or or Big Mom. No, no, Blackbeard is my favorite character, so that hurts me on the inside. But when it comes to to the Big Mom case, I love this chapter because it it, it shows what her position is and what kind of power she has in the new world now what she might just be the weakest if if if, if she is in fact the one that's get, that gets taken out first in terms of how usually how storytelling goes that the weakest gets taken out first and how Oda's told it so far you know usually whenever he goes in order like that the weakest is usually the one that, that gets taken out first so if big mom it seems if luffy truly does go by himself and if if, if big mom actually is the one to get taken out first then she may be, in fact, the weakest um, in, in fighting-wise. Uh, you know, as as far as an overall fighting perspective goes, she might just be the weakest. But I love this chapter because it solidifies her role as one of the Yonkos, why she's one of the Yonkos, and why she's so powerful. And and I loved it because Peckham's, he, well, what he does here is he shows that physical and or fighting strength is not the only type of strength that that can make you a yonko and that's something to me that that spoke absolute volumes and it's something that i really really like. because we know how the other how the other yonkos work we know that kaido rules with his influence of fear it's the world's strongest creature that by itself brings fear onto other people and you know it, it, it's kind of like a, a, a like a dominance like he like he he, he will kill you and uh, but but it's not like a, a, it's it's like a, uh, fighting wise no one wants to mess with him and that's why he's a yonko you know and and that's that's really really interesting nobody, nobody wants to mess with his crew either so it's kind of like in that sort of aspect for kaido now when it comes to shanks shanks is a yonko because of how powerful his crew is as well but it, it also because of their wills and 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 also um you know the friendships that they've made around and the way they've networked their crew and whatnot it's 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 in the connections they've grown you know kind of similar to luffy's because it, their their crew isn't that big either it's not like kaido's or big mom's or whitebeard's crews that they just spanned so many different fleets you know shang's crew at least as far as free time skip was concerned it wasn't like that so there were just guys having fun on the sea but they're recognized for their strength and and that that made them Yonkos, you know, their wills. They were just amazing. I love that. This is why I love Blackbeard, man. Blackbeard's influence reigns so high because it, it, it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird when it comes to Blackbeard because his influence is so real with the criminals of the world, and and, and a sort of factor that they they see him as a leader. They see a, they see him as someone that can actually take them out. Of, of 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 the imprisonment that they're in and what by imprisonment i mean that there's two types of imprisonment number one the literal one and number two is that b due to that and uh, of them being in prison or not uh, unless you're luffy and and a guy who really doesn't give a damn of where you come from there is going to be those pirate crews that are going to see you and you're going to see you as this criminal they're not going to want you on their crew you know even though there are some guys who would love to have you on their crew as a sort of power asset and in Blackbeard's case, he'll t he'll he'll he will bring you over. He'll give you a devil fruit. You know his influence just reigns just like that because he he's like Luffy in an essence, man. He's just out there having fun, but he's not afraid of death and his will to become a uh, pirate king is, is is ridiculous so his his he reigns so well in his influence over criminals and that is something that's extremely important in the world of one piece and then we get to big mom's influence and big mom's influence is a political one guys and it's it's i, I love it i absolutely love it because it, it's truly scary and it's honestly the the most the the, the one that it, it, it just it, it connects so much to the mafia world. It's it's scary. It truly is. It this it, it feels like this is how the Vinsmoke family should work, you know. And it's it's crazy. 
because Big Mom's connections, they delve so deep that she knew everything about Sanji. Everything. Every, even, even, even the damn kingdom, bro. Even the Kamabaka kingdom. Even that, when no one else knew. They even knew that. Her connections have to delve so deep that, you know, their, their recon squad has to be out of this world once again, just like I brought up in, in my in my, in my my um, live reaction. She she could possibly be, have someone a, that's connected inside of the world government. You know, got the Binsmoke family, I'm assuming, just like I said before, has a connection inside of the government, uh, possibly cipher full, you know, with, with them being the strongest intelligence agency. For God's sakes, Big Man could be with there. But for you to know everything, her connections are a, 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 ridiculously deep. And that's scary. Intelligence is always... And knowledge and intelligence is always the scariest thing to always go up against. When someone knows you, and they know who you are, and they know exactly how you work, and they know what what, what, what makes you scared, they know how to blackmail you, it, uh, it, That that is true fear. Because there's one thing to fight someone, but it's one thing to mentally break somebody down just like that in a manner Big Mom does that how she did in this situation. And it's like, damn. And the thing is, is, is that it, it, the thing that impresses me about this entire thing is that there's there's minimal technology in the One Piece world. And the fact that Big Mom knew all of that, her recon squad has to be out of this world. Her recon squad, literally, or, or her connections that, that that are that recon squad, those guys are amazing. They had literally her the eyes have to. They always always reporting information to us. Always reporting information back to her, and it, and it's insane. And the thing is, is that her roots also run so deep because of her connections with her with her daughters. Thirty five different daughters, and if uh, at least thirty of them are married, and they're out there, and they're getting connections with others in the One Piece world, son, she has eyes everywhere. And and if and, and let's just say that she does something where she blackmails one of their one of her family members where literally all of them fear her and they're always bringing my reports. And that's coming from all different sides of the globe. Her influence is literally literally she is big mom. Literally from from an aspect of her being you know, of, of being uh, now blood well, not blood related, but you know, marriage tied together with these families where they are forced to call her uh, Big Mom or La Suegra or whatever. You know, like like like. Oh, it's not that that's, that 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 is the mom of your mom, so I have to respect her. Not only that aspect, but in that in this aspect as well, especially if she uses the blackmail technique, and and that that's that's insane. She literally is Big Mom. She is a mother of all of this stuff going around, and and it's 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 mind boggling. It's incredible just how big her influence, just how much influence she has in, in a standpoint where I, it, it makes her, in my honest opinion, the, the thing that this is the closest to, the, the closest thing I can, I can compare this to is to that of a king. Only a king has this type of influence. You know, or, or big, or kind of like how Big Mom is influenced right here. Big Mom right now, she looks like a freaking king. Uh, it, it, back over there in her castle in Whole Cake Island, man, it, it well deserved. After this chapter, representing true power, son, you can't tell me this that that isn't power. That's scary. She may not be the most powerful, which which, which we don't even know, by the way. But even even if she's not the most powerful, uh, when it comes to fighting, that this other part of itself it has is ridiculous. The influence that she has is out of this world, and I love how this chapter presented that. That, that presented it just presented that aspect. She is a Yonko because of her strength in this manner. Kaido, Shanks, and Blackbeard may be stronger than her physically, may be stronger than her in a fighting standpoint, but in a standpoint of having the most influence in the new world, maybe the whole world in general, the three do not, do not, do not touch when it comes to this kind of influence when you have connections with the enemy that's when you're dangerous and that's why big mom is a yonko she is dangerous she has eyes everywhere she knows everything and that is insane and i love it and that's why i love this latest chapter one piece because it just shows that not only is is it a statement for one piece fans that physical strength is not the only thing you need to become a yonko but it's also a statement in the One Piece world that it, you do not need all of that. So you, you, I love it. I, I love it. I love it, man. It makes me so happy because the, the, this entire thing, it, it just changes the game. It literally is like, 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 like a throne war. When you have someone of Big Mom's stature participating in something like this, 
and it turns into not only a battle of so stronger, but a political battle as well. It's, it's, it's Game of Thrones. It, then, then it goes from Throne Wars into Game of Thrones. And, and when it comes into that aspect, then it turns into something out of this world. And, I, and dude, the, the, once again, before on this video, the influence that Big Mom has in this world with just those two, with your connections and with the intelligence. Oh. Don't even get, you don't, I don't even have to get started on the whole blackmail thing. That in of itself already puts her above so many people. It's sending eyes all over the world. God, and it, it, as long as she has some sort of army that can back up the claims and everything, she's like, oh yeah, I'm about to go over there. We're about to wreck stuff up. And we know, we know, we know that some of these guys were 350, 400 mil. Like, come on, man. It's, and, it's, and it's crazy. So, you guys, the Gnosis of the Day, Big Mom is definitely a force to be reckoned with, and I'm happy about that. I'm so happy that in the way that Peckham's explained, the way that he explained why she's powerful, her, her form of power, you know, her form of power, and I love that Peckham's established, established that, because as, as it is looking right now, she is seriously looking like a king. Seriously, I, I, I love the way they presented it, love the way it was explained, and it, it truly it truly brings fear to me because I imagine myself being on the opposite side of that situation. The only way you can get out of that is the way the Sanji did it. You know, and I love the way that Oda explained it, and that's why this, this recent chapter of One Piece and Big Mom for the win. I I, I loved it. I, I I'm 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 a, I'm a sucker for stuff like this because this is kind of like the way Byakuran worked in Harry Born. So I, I I love stuff like this. So you guys have an awesome day. One Piece for the win. And loving that it's introducing stuff like this because it brings more to the One Piece world, and it's always cool. I'm looking forward to these Throne Wars. It's about to be crazy if Luffy does end up going by himself. It's uh, well we'll see. We'll see what's about to go down. But I can't wait to get to get more information out of, out of Big Mom. And let's just see what's going to happen here in the world of One Piece, man. But as of right now, for me at least, the title of Yonko means more than it did before. Because now it does not only mean this, because we always knew that, that you needed an influence, right? But an influence in this caliber is unlike anything that we have ever been exposed to in the One Piece world. And that's what I love about it. So you guys have an awesome day. One Piece for the win. And well, let's see what's going to happen now. Let's see what's going to happen now, man.